Octavia Sharp here of Styled Sharp, and today we are here to talk about the basics in your professional wardrobe. So I want to talk about the very foundation that you need as a starter wardrobe. If you're just, you know, landed a new job or you're fresh out of school and you need to create a professional wardrobe, this is it. So it's really the basics that you must have in your wardrobe. And I have my friend Joe here. He's going to be modeling for me today and we're going to go over his look. So what Joe has on here is, we're going to start with the pants. So we have a basic chino here. This is a tan color chino flat front pant. You know, Joe has a very slim build, so he's wearing a super slim fit. So depending on your body type, you want to make sure that you're wearing the right fit because that really makes an impression. So um, I would suggest getting a tan color as a basic. It really goes with everything in your wardrobe and you don't want everything to kind of look the same. So tan really breaks it up, matches with different things, a lot of blues and grays and whites. So this is a really good standard pant to have. Um, as we're working our way up, he's wearing it with a blue v-neck sweater over top of a white button-down. So the sweater is great for layering. If you don't have to wear a jacket to the office and you need some kind of layered item to go on top, you know, you can throw this over a button-down shirt where we paired it with a white shirt. A white shirt is a standard in every man's wardrobe and I recommend getting at least two. Uh, in your rotation because white stains very easily and you have to wash it more frequently. So you really want to make sure you have at least two to have as a backup. And then we paired it with a tie. Uh, a lot of times, you know, some of my clients, they don't need to wear ties. So uh, I would suggest if you do, you know, this is a great look. If not, go without the tie. Um, and then we paired it with the chukka shoes. So a chukka is really a cross between a boot and a shoe, like a dress shoe, um, has a little bit higher top uh, on top of it. And they really are very versatile and they go with everything. I think you could dress them up, dress them down. So I always recommend have these in your wardrobe because they're just so versatile. So what do you recommend uh, as far as like layering and what, what else would you put with this outfit? Well, something I would do is straight off the bat, switch out this for maybe another type of uh, sweater. We got, for example, this nice little cardigan here. This is great because I'm somebody who, you know, I work an office job and the temperature fluctuates all the time. And I'm somebody who gets cold really easily. So having a cardigan is a really nice way to kind of like adjust to the temperature. You can, you know, open it up. You could rock it just like that. You could button it up. You could wear it with a tie, make it a little bit dressier. Or even if you wanted to, you could just take this off. It could be like a little jacket that you have over on top of your, you know, standard, you know, tie and shirt. You could rock without the tie. Do whatever you want, really, with a cardigan. I like that. That's something I would mm -hmm. switch out right off the bat. So I would say, like, if you're not a V-neck guy and this is just maybe too stuffy for you, then try the cardigan. I think this is also um, a great basic item. And this one is in gray, and I think it goes with everything, so it's perfect. Uh, and. Another thing I recommend is a navy suit. This is classic, uh, definitely navy trumps black. I think navy is the new black and it has been a standard for a while now. It just is more versatile and every guy can pull off a navy suit. So you wanna make sure you have a great navy suit in your wardrobe because you can wear the trousers by themselves on their own if you like and then also you could you know, use the jacket as a different layering item. So we could even throw it over the look that Joe has on right now. And this looks really great. It even just takes it up a notch, you know? So maybe before it was like super business casual and then this is just really that next level up. And if you don't need to wear a suit, this is a great professional look. So the navy goes with everything again. So I, I think you definitely need that in your wardrobe. Another idea is for sweaters is you maybe want to try a different color because you know too much blue, uh, you need to break it up a little bit. So I think red is a great color and I, most guys can pull this color off. So burgundy, like a dark red is a great option. Another idea for pants is just a different color in the chino. So you have your tan here 
and then these are a blue color. Another color I also recommend is gray. So I think uh, blue or gray, but you definitely want to keep the tan as your second option. We're really just talking basic, basic here. And then you definitely want to make sure that you have a dark denim jean that's dressy, that's clean. It doesn't have any washing on it. It doesn't have any stitching. It's, the stitching is tonal or it's dark and it just looks dressy and clean. I think every guy should have this. You know, you this is really the most versatile jean that you can have in your wardrobe. So make sure you have this in there. And then we have another layering option. Uh, definitely you have your suit, right? You have your navy suit, but then the other thing you wanna make sure you have is a blazer. So this is a great layering item. You know, again, if you were to wear it with this outfit, I would definitely switch out the tan pant. You don't want to be tan on tan. Um, too matchy, but you could wear this with the dark pant, the blue, the gray, the jean. These look really great together, right? So you could wear that. And then if you don't have to wear a dress shirt to the office, maybe you work in tech or you just, you know, you're sitting at your computer all day, you're not client facing, you know, definitely want to have a basic t-shirt in your wardrobe. We have white, we have gray here. These are both and you know must-haves in your wardrobe and you can also pair back to a jacket uh, and it looks like it's a cool look so these are all different ways that you can get some versatility in your basics um, last we're gonna talk about shoes so we have you know your brown dress shoe every guy should have a brown dress shoe in his wardrobe these are versatile they go with everything so make sure if you have any dress shoe, it's the brown. And then black would be the other pair I recommend. You know, these are a little bit more stylish because they're a monk strap, but you know, you could even stick with the basic Oxford, but make sure you have the brown and a black. And then you wanna add in your fashion sneaker. These are really great, especially if you just, you know, you work in an office where you don't have to get super dressy. You know, these look really great with all these things in the wardrobe. You know, I suggest white or even like a navy color would be great too. So, and then Joe has some accessories he wanted to show. Yeah. So what I got here guys is, uh, I'll come up a little bit closer you can see them. So this is actually a nice little uh, brown leather wrap bracelet. This is, uh, you know, for people that want to get a little adventurous with their accessories, but not too adventurous. This is great, it goes with a lot of the blues and all these and you can match it to your shoes like Tavia just had over here. I also have a nice little watch here. I know a lot of guys are into watches. You gotta get a staple watch, something that fits your style. You can check them out, um, you know, what kind of dial you want. Like I have a blue dial to kind of match this, uh, this blue aesthetic we have here. I even matched it with this nice little uh, this brown band to uh, go with the brown leathers on both of these and then, you know, with the uh, the chuck of boots that we had over here, so mm -hmm. matching all three of these is uh, crucial. And you can even match it to I have a brown belt on as well. So keeping the leathers all in line and you know accessorizing keeps it a little bit fun, a little you know spice for your outfit. Yeah, and it's just coordinating, and really we're just making it easy. Like this should be really easy and simple. Just giving you some ideas of how to make your professional wardrobe really go you know up the long way right so if this is like low investment these are the basic items that you should invest in for a starter wardrobe and then as you start to build it you can add in the other pieces so we hope we gave you some really good ideas here today and until next time we'll see ya